Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Binance Newbie walkthrough here in Southern Africa. It is great to be here talking to everyone, explaining a few things about Binance and how to do them. Unfortunately, I will not be putting my microphone on, to, uh, my camera on tonight. I am sitting in Hello Darkness, my old friend, load shedding, so unfortunately, not much to see. But it's a positive for you. You don't have to see my ugly mug for at least this evening so what are we going to be covering tonight we're going to be covering exactly how to find binance on the web how to create your binance account securing your binance account and also kyc'ing your binance account we also have a bit of an announcement at the end of the stream we have added a new but a new way to use a product we will announce this at the end of the stream and we are very excited to tell you a bit more about that i'm going to play the video one more time let everybody get into the channel and then we will begin with today's newbie walkthrough And we are ready. Let's get going ahead with tonight's newbie walkthrough. As you can see on my screen, I have Google open at the moment. This is to show exactly people exactly where to find Binance, whether it be Google entering the URL, etc. But it also gives us a chance to show exactly what the Binance address is so that you cannot get scammed. Before I begin, I'm just going to say hello to Eze, Digos, Mukta, Aminu, Gabriel, Fraul, Sanjida, and Rafli. Welcome into the stream. So let's get on to the first step of this newbie walkthrough. And that is how do I find Binance? I find the simplest way to do this is pretty much to go onto Google and type in Binance. But then you also have the issue of what happens if someone is trying to copy the Binance exchange or create a fake of it. When going to Google and typing in Binance, Generally, the first one that will pop up is our actual official Binance webpage. If you click on it, you will see at the top, if you click on the web address, it's binance.com forward slash en. If you are looking for the South Africa local page, it is binance.com forward slash en dash z. Hey, so as long as it is binance.com forward slash en, also when we are in Google, make sure it has the HTTPS before the website address this just shows you that it is a secure website if someone is trying to scam it they probably won't have https before that once we have opened it as i said you'll see the web address in the top binance.com forward slash en or if you're looking for the south africa specific one binance.com forward slash en dash z a this is what the home page looks like there is a few things rotating at the bottom those are the current campaigns and banners but this is the home page that you will get presented with and as you can see we are running a campaign at the moment if you register now get up to 100 usdt in trading fee rebate this is for verified users only so you have to verify your account or kyc your account in order to get this it's not just sign up get your money and disappear you also have to trade this is a trading fee rebate so what this means is your first hundred dollars in trading fees will be given back to your hundred dollars in usdt for example we're now going to move on to the second point or the second part of tonight's newbie walkthrough and that is how do you actually sign up to binance so if we look at the screen in the middle here where the mouse is hovering we can see trade bitcoin for free sign up with email or phone or continue with google or apple we also have in the top right hand corner register but for now we are going to use the one in the middle of the screen and we're going to click sign up with email or phone obviously a new web page is going to open and it is going to say create personal account it's going to ask you for an email and ask you for a password and then if someone has referred you and given you their referral id please do fill this in here it benefits the person that has referred you and helps them out quite a 
bit. You'll, of course, have to accept the terms and conditions. If you'd like to read through these, they are here at our privacy policy. You can read through both of them right there. They are in the sign-up page. You can sign up using either an email or a phone number, and you need to obviously create a pass uh, password. If you are not looking, for example, for a personal account, you can then click on sign up for an entity account, and this will tell you the entity name, the legal form, and this will take you the legal form of your entity, and this will take you exactly through how to create an entity account. But for now, we are going to be signing up for a personal account. Guys, if you do have any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat. I will get to them throughout the entirety of this new B walkthrough. That's what I'm here to do, educate and answer your questions questions just give me a few seconds i just want to have a sip of my water and i am back and let's continue so this is the sign up page you have the option of email or phone number i'm going to be using an email guys this is a spam email address that i created purely for this so if you want to save it and email it that's up to you i am never going to open it again so that's all i'm going to say so what we fill in here is obviously our email Once we have filled in our email, sorry guys, I'm typing a bit slow. It is load shedding. I can barely see my keyboard. We have to fill in a password. I'll make this password shown just for the few. Not when I enter an actual password. But guys, this is not a good password. This is also not a good password. We recommend minimum of eight characters. So for instance... Like that, with a spelling error. Here we go, Binance account one exclamation mark. It has minimum of eight characters, it has a number, and it has a special character. We're going to pause there for one second. We have a question in the chat. Is Abunwa asking, what are the things required for signing into Binance? To sign into your Binance account once you have created it is literally the email or phone number that you used and the password that you created. So guys, I'm just going to quickly hide my screen while I fill in a password but yeah when creating a password please make sure you have special characters you have numbers you have lowercase letters you have uppercase letters also don't make it your name one two three four exclamation mark for example that is also still weak and scammers will guess that pretty quickly bringing my screen back up now and then we have a email, we have a password filled in. If we have a referral ID, we can fill that in as well. As I said, this benefits the referrer and can benefit yourself as well. We agree to the terms and conditions and privacy policy, and then we smash that create a personal account button. An email verification code will be sent to you. It is pretty much just a code to make sure you have access to this email address. I'm hoping mine comes through pretty quickly as I am sitting here in a live stream. There we go. I have my code. Let's see. Let's put it in. This is just pretty much an email saying your crypto journey starts now. Congratulations, etc., etc., etc. And it will come from Binance. Do not reply at mtdirectmail.binance.com. So make sure that it is that email address. Also, it might come to your spam folder. It might come to your trash folder. So if you're using Gmail at this time, I recommend that you go into your Gmail and you hit all mail to find this specific information. So now account is created. Verify your identity to enjoy your finance journey. We can either verify our account or just go in with an unverified account. What does verifying my account mean? I next now have to fill in my personal information. Country or region, we are obviously talking about South Africa as this is a South Africa newbie walkthrough. I would put in South Africa. Complete the following steps to verify your account in seven minutes. You fill in your personal information, your government issued ID and your facial recognition. There is a guide underneath if you want to open that. That one is a little short video, two minutes and 34 seconds to tell you exactly how to verify or how to fill in your personal information so again guys it is your personal information your government issued id and 
facial recognition. The facial recognition is when you sit there and you look at your camera and it takes an image of your face and makes sure it is you. It's plain simple. It is just a step to make sure your account is safe and that your account is actually you and that it is not someone pretending to be you. I am not going to do the verification process right now. I am going to go back and let's go to the Binance dashboard now. Just got to wait for that to load. This is what our dashboard looks like. You have an estimate balance. Let me actually go to the homepage so we don't all see that. You have an estimated balance and now the homepage looks a little bit different. It no longer asks me to fill in an email address and number. I now have a created account and it is going to ask me to verify my account. That is the plain, simple signing up process. If you want to add extra layers of security to your account, we go to, let's actually go onto this topic. The second part, securing your account now that you have created it. You don't want your account to be able to just be broken into or hacked at any time. So we like to, for example, secure our account. So what I do is I go to the top right hand corner and there will be a section saying security. You click on security and then all your security options will show up. You have biometric authentication, a security key. You have Binance or Google Authenticator, phone number verification, and email address verification. You can also have your login password and so on and so forth. But we're going to focus on these top ones here. Right here. And there are four of them. These are the four that I like to prefer. And I actually use all four of them on my personal account. So let's go through biometric authentication or security key. So biometric authentication, that's fingerprints, facial and uh, facial recognition, etc. And security key, as it says there, is something like a UB key. A UB key is just a USB key that goes into the side of your laptop. You won't be able to access your account without having that in your laptop and touching the two metal pins on the side of it. Binance Google Authenticator. This is an app that you download on your phone. You link it to your Binance account. You enter the six-digit number, and it allows you to log in. Phone number verification, we will send you an SMS. That SMS is then asked for when you try to log in. It has also a code in it, and you enter that code. And then email address verification, very similar to phone number verification. We will send you an email when you're trying to log in with a six-digit PIN, and you can enter that six-digit PIN to log in. I always recommend having two or more of these activated on your account. For example, if someone gets access to their, your phone, they can get access to your authenticator. If someone gets access to your phone, they can actually have access to your phone number verification and authenticator. If they have access to your email, they won't have access to your phone or your authenticator. So if you are following what I'm trying to say here, always have two or more of these on your account, just so that if one does get hacked, for example, or you lose your phone or example, something like that, you still have another layer to back you up at the end of the day. Also, login password, I recommend, and this just isn't me being a paranoid or anything, I recommend changing your password at least once every three months. This is standard password practice around the world. You'll see all big corporates in the world, they force their staff to change their password every three months. This is because, for instance, if you have the same password nonstop, it can eventually be picked up with what are called keystroke detectors, stuff like that. So try to have a password change every three months. If you want to do it even more, that's up to you. But I recommend every about three months changing your password, just changing it up a bit. So if someone, for instance, does have access to your account, you don't know about it, they will no longer have access to your account either. So guys, that's how you can verify or secure your account. Again, I highly recommend having two of these. I highly recommend changing your password every three months because at the end of the day, Crypto is money and you want to keep your crypto and your money safe. That is what we want to finance as well. And we do our part on our side. We try to make sure that our crypto, our client's crypto is all safe at the end of the day. But you also have a role to play in that. If you create an account with email address 1234 at gmail.com with password 1234, the chances of you being hacked are extremely, extremely high. And at that stage, it is you that's been hacked, not Binance. Just a bit of information there. Binance, we do our best to keep your crypto safe. That is, at the end of the day, our highest priority. So 
please do your part as well. Guys, moving on to our little announcement. We've got about a little bit of time left. It is quite a short at, um, stream at the moment. It is not too much to explain. But the community spoke. We listened. Instant withdrawals are now live in South Africa for your czar. If you withdraw before 3 p.m. in the afternoon, as we know, 3 p.m. is the bank cutoff time. So between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., you will be having an instant withdrawal. Also, by instant, it should reflect within 30 minutes. If it hasn't, contact customer support. But you no longer have to wait two to three or one to two business days. You now have instant withdrawals available on the South African platform. That is something we love. It's something we've always wanted to bring out to community. We've heard you guys asking for it. And we have listened. And it is here. So for the time being, enjoy that. Guys, I'm going to leave this video up on Facebook. I'm going to leave it up on YouTube. If you want to go back and re-watch it, please feel free to do so. I had a great time talking to everyone tonight. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I hope you learned something. And see you in the next one.